Hi, this is Dr. Castellano, and today we're going to be talking about milk. Does it do a body good? We've all seen the advertising with the athletes and their milk mustaches, right? They're all looking like they're in great shape. So obviously, milk must be pretty good. It should at least help prevent hip fractures, right? At least that's what we're told. Drink your milk, have strong bones. Well, that question was recently posed in a study out of the British Medical Journal. Does drinking milk prevent hip fractures? And uh, what effect does it have on mortality? That's your uh, death rate. So um, they looked at 61,000 women over 20 years, and they looked at how much milk they consumed, and they looked at what happened to them over time. And the data that we got is actually a little, a little bit different than what we're expecting. We're expecting milk to be beneficial, at least with the hip fractures, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm going to quickly go over the study and point out some things that I think are important if you're interested in living a longer, healthier lifestyle. Okay? And then I'll make some recommendations um, to the alternative. Okay. So, if you drink two, I'm sorry, if you drink one glass of milk a day, your uh, hip fracture rate went up by 19%. If you drank two to three glasses of milk a day, your hip fracture rate went up 55%. If you drank more than three glasses of milk a day, your hip fracture rate went up 60%. Okay. So what happened to mortality? We weren't expecting that with hip fractures, right? Hip fracture rate goes up with milk consumption. Well, what happens with mortality? What happens with your um, <clears throat> ability to uh, survive? Well, if you drink one glass of milk a day, your mortality went up by 21%. Your 21% percent more likely to die from drinking a glass of milk. If you drink between two and three glasses of milk a day, your mortality went up 60%. So you're 60% more likely to die if you drink two to three glasses of milk a day. If you drink more than three glasses of milk a day, your mortality goes up 93%. That's huge. Basically, it's almost doubling. Your risk of dying almost doubles if you drink more than three glasses of milk a day. Okay. Now, this just relates to milk. It doesn't uh, relate to yogurts or, or sour milk or uh, cheeses. Those were actually found to be beneficial. Okay. We're just talking plain old milk and women. S slight um, similarity in men, but it, uh, not as significant as the, as the women. Okay. So if you're trying to have strong bones and live a longer life, what should you do? Well, obviously, milk does not do a body good, right? So um, if you want to avoid milk, what you should do is increase your vitamin D. Okay, There's a great study that came out of the Archives of Internal Medicine that showed just a doubling of vitamin D from 400 to 800 IUs will give you a 18 to 20% decrease in hip fracture rate. That's a baby dose of vitamin D. Okay, I typically have my patients take about 5,000 IUs a, a day. Okay, If you're doing that, or if you're going to do that, Definitely follow up with your doctor and have them check your levels after a couple of months to make sure you're okay. Okay? So why does vitamin D help? Well, vitamin D is essential in bone formation. And it also, it boosts your immune system. Cancer and all diseases take hold typically when your immune system is somewhat depressed. So by maintaining it elevated, maintaining it where it should be, those things are less likely to take hold. Okay? That's one big proponent of vitamin D. So, next time, we'll talk about something as important that pertains to longevity and health. This is Dr. Castellano. See you next time.